think we should also realize that this was premised on undermining the office of the Chief Justice. Now, if the office of the Chief Justice, at least I do not read it as the same as the judiciary. I think judiciary means everyone. Chief Justice is a person. So, I, if I, yes, it is premised, but if I use the term independence of judiciary by saying Chief Justice, then we should use the word independence of the Chief Justice and not use the word judiciary. And then the argument goes back and forth, the same one, he is the head of the institution, so he represents the judiciary. I am not very convinced with it. So I would say, yes, it definitely undermines the independence or whatever better word you want to say. It, use not the word independence, but some other word may be better of the Chief Justice, but not as a judiciary as a whole. I would add the word the purported master of the roster. I, when I was, became Chief Justice, and I looked at it earlier also, the existing rules of the Supreme Court of, Pakistan, uh, uh, of 1980 stipulate simply that the Chief Justice will constitute benches. And our practice had developed, maybe it's in accordance with the rules, I can't find it, that every week, list of cases prepared, a list would go to the Chief Justice, this case would go to that judge, and this case would go to that judge, and this case would go to that judge. I have discontinued that practice. This is not even the job of the Chief Justice. This is the job of the Registrar. They can be given broad uh, outlines, first in, first out being the general principle. Then they can be fast-track cases, election matters, naturally election matter will become redundant after a certain period of time, bail matters, etc. But to see even the cause list of the day and where it goes, I think, and this is the master of the roster speaking, Please give me this power so I can use it from the or existing Supreme Court rules. Where do I have this power? I can't seem to find it. Can you help me with that? 